Hello everyone and welcome to the South Coast Reptiles YouTube channel. I'm Josh and today we're going to assemble a culture of giant orange wood lice because we are planning in the future and we, we're going to move out in the next couple of months and we're planning on getting things for example we're looking at getting some crested geckos gargoyle geckos and they do really well in a bioactive kind of setup so we're hoping that we're gonna take this small culture we've got from our local reptile shop place it in this tub which i'll show you here this is just a small tub three litre tub that we've bought from the rank from the um the range near us so we're going to go ahead we're going to paste some substrate inside of here and set it up for them now setting up for an isopod culture i've never done it before i'm pretty sure it should be pretty simple because isopods obviously aren't exactly a high maintenance animal mind you but obviously you still won't do it right so what we've done is we've got some bio life forest substrate from a local reptile shop so i'm just going to place that in there now Getting muddy hands here. I'm just going to keep adding to that. Slowly but surely. Being a small tub, obviously, you don't need a lot for it. So, we're going to add a couple of inches of substrate. Try and rub as much of this off as we can. And then, what we're going to do is we're going to use our water bowl after I pumped it a few times just to wet it a little bit. So obviously that's a little bit of moisture in there. Probably do a bit more to be fair. Now obviously from start, it's gonna look a bit wet, it's gonna be a bit damp, then you mix it together just to spread that moisture around in the soils. Give it another quick spray. Then obviously, just want to spread it out a little bit around. And what I think would be good, and then I think just to pat it down just a little bit, not very hard, because you don't want it to be impossible for the isopods to dig into this, but just giving it a slight pat down. So what we have now, as you can see, is about an inch maybe of substrate on the bottom of the tub which should be an ideal amount for them. So now we're going to go ahead and add some sphagnum moss. And we're going to pick a side of the tub for our sphagnum moss. Now the wood lice, well, we in the U UK we call them wood lice, in America you call them, I think you call them isopods. But depending on where you're from, is they have different names. So we'll place some of this in there. just to create a really moist corner. This will help with the isopods during their shed and such. So I'll put the lid on that, because sphagnum moss is surprisingly getting quite expensive nowadays. Bit of a clean up. Now, the next thing, obviously wood lice, their role in a vivarium is as detrivores meaning they consume the biological waste from decomposing matter. This could be in the form of decomposing plant matter and also can be for, for example, animal waste. For example, when we have our crested gecko and gargoyle geckos in a few months time, the idea is the wood lice that are bred from this culture will go on to inhabit them variums to create these biological variums, which means the animal gets less stressed because it's in a more natural setup with a more natural kind of ecology. And also for the simple fact of it's a lot, it just makes it less maintenance because also the animal waste is being consumed by the isopods, but also we'll be making another culture with springtails and the springtails basically have the same job as the isopods, just that they're much smaller. So they get them little bits that the isopods miss. But an important thing to add for isopods and springtails, to be frank, is leaf litter. So you just crunch it up a little bit and just place it in there. And you want to 
want quite a nice bed of leaf layer in this. Because the leaf layer is going to be the isopod's main source of nutrition. So I think that about a third of the surface of the tank being the sphagnum moss. And the rest of the surface being more comprised of this like leaf litter kind of shebang. Now I've done all that, I'm just going to give it a quick spray this time. Because obviously it's on top of the leaves now. Just to wet it up. Because isopods, believe it or not, aren't insects. They're crustaceans. Which means they have really basic gills. So they cannot survive in a not moist environment. They need the moisture to be able to breathe. Not sure how well you're going to be able to see these guys. I don't even want to touch them because I don't want to say it much too much. But obviously, these are the giant orange wood lice that we've got. You see there are some babies already in there. As you can see, obviously we have the really large adults. As you can see by this curious one just running around rampant. We also, if you look very carefully, you can spot some of the smaller ones, which now that I've said that, I can't see any. Wood lice are showing me up here. But like, there's one there. See that? That little tiny baby there. So that little tiny one is going to grow up to be one of these big ones. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to add these to our isopod culture. And then after that, we'll go for a bit on the plans for their maintenance and such things. There we go. One culture of isopods. Now all I'm going to do is I'm going to take the leaf layer from one corner. As you can see, I've made kind of a gap in the leaf layer, so to speak. And then I'm simply going to tip the contents of this container in there, as you can see. Double check to make sure none of the young isopods or anything have been left behind, which they haven't. Then just quite simply, just going to spread that about a bit. And then we're going to place the leaf layer back on top. Let's have a look, see how they like it. As you can see, they're just having a look around. Obviously a bit stressed out over the fact they've just been tipped straight into this tub. But all is going well. As they begin to settle down, what they'll begin to do is they'll begin to bury into the substrate. And they'll kind of live in that in-between space of, they don't quite live on the surface, they don't live very deep. They just live in this little bit here, just feeding on the detritus from the, or or from the decaying organic matter from the leaves and other organic matter which is come included in the bio life forest substrate which we've got obviously there are little bits of like twigs roots and that in there so they'll also be able to eat on that but obviously it needs to stay quite humid inside so what we got we just got the tub's lid but all we've done is as i'll show you here we've just drilled a number of holes in there we haven't quite drilled that hole in yet but there'll be but there will be five holes in there when we're done and that literally just slip it on top there and lock her up. So that will be your wood lice culture. Obviously the holes there for aeration, that stopping thing. Obviously main inside about every three days. You don't want to serve them too often, but you do want to go in there just to make sure it's still it's still moist inside, still humid. Because obviously, being crustaceans, if it dries out completely, they'll suffocate, they'll just die because there's just no moisture for them to breathe in. So they do require that level of moisture. So you just want to open the tub, fill the, fill the substrate. You're looking for wet substrate. You're looking for like a damp feeling. So you put your hand to it, you notice what you can feel. It's, a little, it's got some moisture on it. You do not want to touch it and you think to yourself, that's sogging wet. Because if it's sogging wet and it's absolutely drenched, you're going to get loads of problems with bacteria and that and it will just stink and it'll be horrible. So you're not going to want that in your house. But overall, that's the basic setup we're going for for this time. I'm hoping I've done it all right. Obviously, it's my first time doing it. So I hope you've done it all right. 
thank all of you for watching. I really appreciate it. And I hope you're catching the next video. Bye guys.